Hello, my beautiful Libras. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com, here to bring your weekly forecast for May 27th to June 4th. I know it's a little bit over a week, but it's just be only because I wanted to make sure I got these out on time, so schedule. All right, um, guys, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. Let's jump right in. So what's going on my Libra's Romantic Love Life for May 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, June 1st, June 2nd, June 3rd, and June 4th. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. All right, so we'll take three days at a time here. And remember, these are general love messages. They're not going to resonate with everyone. So check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. Or you can also get a personal reading with me by going to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or checking out the description box below. All right. So what's going on? My Libra's romantic love life for the 27th, the 28th, the 29th, the 30th and 31st of May, June 1st, June 2nd, June 3rd, and June 4th, 2019. Whoops. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Wow. Looks good so far. All right. So what's going on with Libra's love interest? So remember, these are singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who's love messages. So if I accidentally say partner, I mean love interest, because I know this is for couples and singles as well. All right. So what is going on with my Libra's love interest romantic love life? For May 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, June 1st, June 2nd, June 3rd, and June 4th. Okay, now we're ready to get started. So this is going to be for May 27th. So it looks like you're going to have a reconciliation. Out the gates. All right, on the 27th from my Libra is from somebody from your past, looks like. Okay, so it looks like um, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor on this day. And there's something possibly on the table pertaining to marriage, long-term commitment, or maybe you already married to this person or have some kind of long-term commitment. So it's something to do with tradition. Um, it could be something religious with the Hierophant card or something to do with marriage and long-term commitment. But the Wheel of Fortune is definitely turning in your favor on this day, and there's something to do with some kind of reconciliation with somebody from your past here with this Reunions card. All right, let's keep going. At the end, I'll be doing the Celtic Cross to get the overall to see exactly what's going on here. Okay, let me put this card here, put that there. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, and let me also check off where we're at right now. 27th, 28th, and 29th. So now we're on the 28th. Something pertaining to work on this day. So Three of Cups shows me maybe you're hanging out with friends at work. Three of Cups, something to do with friendship on this day. Three of Cups, some kind of celebration is going on. The other person has the energy of Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, okay, King of Wands energy, something to do with wise choices when it comes to passion, okay, so they see something to do with wise choices when it comes to passion, let's just clarify why they have the King of Wands here. Six of Cups, somebody from the past, someone sees someone as an ideal partner, okay, so this is possibly a fire sign that you're dealing with um, and somebody from the past and they see you as an ideal partner. Wow. So we're continuing all in that trend and you're focused on work and you're celebrating possibly with people from your job. Okay, so what's going on here on the 29th? It seems like something is beautiful on this day. Maybe you're going to be told that you're beautiful. Maybe you're just going to feel the day is beautiful. Something beautiful on this day of the 29th of May. The Lover's Card, Twin Flame, Soulmate Connection, a choice towards love here. And this person that you're dealing with, your love interest, wants to hold on to you for a short success. So far, I really don't see any reason to clarify. It looks very good. It looks like you're dealing with your twin flame soulmate connection, that there's love here. There's a choice towards love in this card itself. There's two couples together and the Cupid's arrow has hit. So looks good so far. All right, let's keep going. All right, so now we got the 30th, the 31st, and the 1st. Of June and your energy is this and their energy is that hmm so something surrounding marriage on this day okay whether there's going to be someone that's going to talk about marriage or uh, there's something going to be involving something pertaining to some kind of long-term commitment tradition on this day you feel like you're moving into calmer waters you see a light at the end of the tunnel here with the situation 
and you feel like there's definitely some positive movement going on here. However, your love interest feels like their hands are tied for some reason and they feel like they're trapped in something. So let's see what's going on with this situation. Something to do with someone being left out in the cold because something to do with maybe words that were exchanged with the King of Swords energy or from authority, an authority figure because the King of Swords is someone who's an authority, he's wise. All right, so why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Wise choice when it comes to passion. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Someone who's waiting for their ships to come in. Three of Wands. Because of heartache. The Three of Swords. Okay, why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Oh, there we got that authority figure. Uh, the Emperor. Maybe a fatherly kind of figure is involved with this situation, or uh, maybe something to do with work here, a boss, um, or someone needs to take charge of this. Okay, so the authority figure is involved with something to do with uh, a transformational energy or something to do with somebody wanting to end something, the death card, and someone has to stand up and fight, decide to stand up and fight or walk away. Why is marriage here? Why is marriage here? Why is marriage here? Why is marriage here? So someone's holding on for a short success pertaining to marriage, pertaining to Six of Cups, someone from the past. Okay. Wow, a lot going on here, my Libras. Uh, yeah, you want to let me know in the comments below. Wow. Okay. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right. So now we're moving on to the 31st. Okay. Something to do with someone wanting their freedom here, the freedom card. You want to be patient when it comes to your passions. Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Your love interest feels a little bit confused, the Moon card, or they're uh, feeling like there's some kind of hidden deception here. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, why is the Moon card here? Why is the Moon card here? Why is the Moon card here? So someone wants to gain some kind of perspective, the hangman, because they feel hurt, the ten of swords. And why is the queen of wands here? Why is the queen of wands here? Why is the queen of wands here? Queen of cups. Uh, should I get my couple of? Should I not get my couple of? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, pertaining to putting the work in or something surrounding work, uh, finance, school, apprenticeship here. And this involves tradition long-term commitment marriage so there's a there's a wonder if there should you know we should move forward there's a confusion here someone wants their freedom in the situation okay let's keep going all right this is june 1st okay so um you're revealing something or you're focused on your happiness and you want to take a new opportunity when it comes to some kind of long-term commitment all right you're just ready to like, all right, I see there's potential here for this long-term commitment. I just want to be happy. Let's just go with it. And the love interest is coming out as the Queen of Cups energy. Well, should I give my cup of love? Should I not want to give my cup of love? So someone's having the energy of, I don't know. You know, they're trying to be patient when it comes to love here. Okay, so let's see why there's a Queen of Cups energy here. Something to do with mental clarity to be victorious. Cutting something out or going quickly, uh, so they don't want to go too quickly, so they're trying to gain some kind of mental clarity. And Page of Swords shows something to do possibly with something immature, possibly. All right, some kind of immature energy or new perspective here. All right, so let's keep going. At the end, we'll get an overall. What's going on now? Let's boop on to June 2nd, June 3rd, June 4th. And then your energy and their energy. Okay, so a uh, proposal is on the table here, okay? Either you're proposing and they're proposing or something to do with proposals is going on, some kind of commitment. And you see this as a new opportunity of passion, okay? You're like, okay, good. This is, this is good. This is a new opportunity of passion. The other person is coming out, the love interest is coming out, eight of pentacles. So work, apprenticeship, school. It looks like they're focused on work here or they're figuring out they want to put the work into this. 
Okay, so let's kind of see what's going on here. What's this proposal card about? What's this proposal card about? Why is this proposal card here? Why is this proposal card here? Why is this proposal card here? Someone's trying to decide, do they want to propose? So they're trying to think, okay, do I want to stand up and fight or walk away from this? Uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, messages of passion or a younger fire sign person and some kind of burden on someone's mind about it. And why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? And why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Okay, so it's about putting the work in when it comes to tradition, marriage, long-term commitment. All right. They're feeling like, okay, my hands are tied. What can I do about the situation? I have to wait to gain some kind of perspective to see if I want to put the work into this. And why is the Ace of Wands here? And why is the Ace of Wands here? And why is the Ace of Wands here? Something to do with family, long-term commitment. And judgment rep represents a reconciliation, a healing. Whew, a lot going on here um, with this situation with you guys. Okay. Now we're going on to June 3rd. Okay. All right. So it looks like you're celebrating something on this day. All right. Some kind of celebration on June 3rd. And Three of Pentacles says something to do with um, putting the work in, teamwork. And the, the bear right there represents some kind of authority figure. Maybe a boss. Uh, maybe something to do with work here. Three of Pentacles with the celebration. The person you're dealing with is... Feeling like, okay, I'm moving into common waters now. I feel like I can heal from the situation. I see that there's a light at the end of the tunnel with this. Okay, so, so far, so good. So now let's see the last day here for the 4th of June. Ah, okay. Um, so Spirit is saying to you to kind of look around for some, um, some help, some helpful hints about what to do on this day. Look at your dreams. Look at some signs that Spirit's going to send to you on this day on the 4th. <clears throat> so there's some kind of issues pertaining to family and long-term commitment and loyalty to family, possibly with the dog being here, some kind of loyal friend or something pertaining to loyalty and family and long-term commitment. The person that you're dealing with or your love interest is the energy of like, let me just gain some perspective here. Let me just see what's going on. Just let me just see what's going to have to be sacrificed here with the situation. Okay, let's find out why do they have the hangman energy here. Why is the hangman energy here? Why is the hangman energy here? Okay, so Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, they're trying to be patient when it comes to their passions. They're waiting for their ships to come in. Because they want to make wise choices when it comes to love. And why do you have the Ten of Pentacles here? You're trying to be happy. You're trying to fulfill your wishes when it comes to long-term commitment and family here. But there's something that's that needs to be balanced. There's not an equal give and take. And you're trying to be patient. And you're thinking, okay, do I want to stand up and fight or walk away from this? Okay. So it's definitely about fulfilling wishes about long-term commitment and family here. Or you're trying to fulfill wishes. Someone's trying to fulfill the wishes of their family here with this situation. And that's what's causing this as well. Whew. Okay. Uh, let us get now an overall what's going on with you guys. <laughs> All right, tell me what's going on in my Libra's romantic love life for May 27th to June 4th. What's going on with their current romantic love life in this time period? What's their blockage for their romantic love life in this time period? What's their strength for their romantic love life in this time period? What's something from the past that affect their current love state? Who's coming towards them that they would be interested in? And what's going to be the potential overall outcome of this for the week of May 27th to June 4th? Okay, current blockage, strength, past. Who's coming towards you and the potential outcome here mm. yeah uh some kind of bondage addiction depression or some kind of procrastination here with the devil card at the bottom of the deck here all right so um it looks like there's there's a defending energy going on here in the current romantic love life seven of wands energy someone's defending something against family friends uh, or the other person and they feel like they have the higher ground here either you or the other person 
What is the blockage? There's too much thinking going on here. Thinking and contemplation is actually blocking out your romantic love life here with the Four of uh, Swords energy. Your strength is actually Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Make a wise choice when it comes to love or this could be something to do with a water sign person. So you know what, what you feel is a wise decision when it comes to love. So use this as your strength to pick the, the right choice here. Something from your past has affected your current love state. You could have been dealing with a Leo with the strength card or something to do with um, having courage and strength. Uh, the person may have had courage and strength or someone was controlling their passions. And who's coming towards you? Well, there's fast moving energy coming towards you. They wanted to move very, very quickly with you. Um, but it looks like someone's at a crossroad here. So fast moving energy is messages coming towards you. And something that someone wants to move fast and quickly. But because of this, it seems like there's a crossroads, a decision that has to be made. Some kind of indecision here. And what's going on? Six of Cups shows me something to do with the past energy. Something to do with a new start, fresh start with this person from the past. And I got the Emperor again. So we could be dealing with an Aries, okay? Or uh, something to do with an authority figure here in your romantic love life, okay? Someone needs to take charge of this situation. Or someone is, someone is exerting too much control over the situation, okay? With that Emperor card there. And then I see uh, the King of Swords. There's a lot of thinking going on. Thinking, 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 thinking with their head over their heart here and trying to take charge of things pertaining to a reconciliation and a new uh, um, opportunity here with the Six of Cups energy. So it looks like there's a reconciliation going on here, but the blockage being uh, something to do with too much thinking, thinking, contemplation. And the current situation is somebody's trying to defend this to somebody else, possibly an authority figure here. Uh, the emperor represents a boss a leader, uh, a fatherly kind of figure, okay? It's an Aries. And so, you know, I see this is your energy right here because Libra, you're an air sign person, okay? So, you know, this this is like you have your back to this person and this person's kind of like, okay. Uh, and then they're kind of like with the Six of Cups energy here. So Something is going on where someone's trying to gain control of some kind of reconciliation or someone's trying to block it out. And obviously the blockage is too much thinking, too much contemplation here, too much logic going on here. You have to use your emotions more, uh, Libra. Make wise choices when it comes to your heart and not your head on the situation, okay? Um, let me get some clarity on the situation with some advice. Okay, I cut the deck. And this is what I got. This makes complete and of sense. So this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So that explains the past energy. Let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay. And I'm just going to pull one card too. Can I have some advice for my Libras for the romantic love life for the week of May 27th to June 4th, please? Show me card 82 C. Show me card 82 C. Yeah. Playfulness. See? To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to uh, shine through. So it looks like there's there's an individual, and if it's not you, it's it's the other person. Something, someone's trying to control this instead of allowing it to kind of just flow through and be playful, and and using your emotions here. Someone's using too much logic here and doing too much thinking here and contemplating instead of just allowing things to kind of unfold naturally. So. All right, my Libra. Yes, it's a very complex situation. Potentially, it's involving something to do with family, too, a long-term commitment here. So, guys, uh, let me know what's going on in the comments below. And also, remember, these are general love messages, and they're not going to resonate with everyone. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, or you can get a personal reading with me by going to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or checking out the description box below. And by the way, um, I, I do have other releases besides the weeklies. If you guys want to check it out, it's in my playlist. Um, it, you can find it through my channel, playlist channel, uh, on my YouTube, or check out the links below. I have all the playlists uh, listed below. I love you guys so much and have a great week.